सो अनिंदा कॉन्ग्रेट्स बहुत बहुत बधाई आपको और योर वंडरफुल सिलेक्शन अ ग्रेट सिलेक्शन टू द यूएस यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर द पीएचडी प्रोग्राम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सिंसिनाटी थैंक यू सर या सो व्हाई डोंट यू इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ uh so my name is anindya bora uh, i am a masters graduate from vit chennai okay i did my masters in chemistry and uh, now i'm currently pursuing uh, phd chemistry in university of cincinnati uh, all thanks to narendra sir oh, thank and <laughs> and currently i'm in the process of like getting my visa appointment and thing done and the rest yeah. of the things all have been recorded from well so so tell me about your your background your family when you started your bsc so, what was your grades uh, msc what were your grades what were your research project if you have one yeah yes so i come from assam uh, i have a small family of four with my mother father and my big sister okay i did my schooling in uh, assam itself so the bsc boy and from that after graduating from my school i went to Uh, Kolkata for my undergraduate in okay. BSc Chemistry at Saint Xavier's University, Saint Xavier's College, Kolkata. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I would say it was not a uh, like pleasant experience, but it was doable. So my grades were not that good in uh, BSc due to some personal reasons and also okay. some outside factors. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was and after graduating uh, from my BSc, no, what, I went. What was your grades? Ah, uh, it was. I think so. It's, yeah, if I remember correctly, it was around six point seven three. Yeah, six point seven three or six point. Okay. That. Now, after that, uh, I went to VIT. Ah, uh, there I met some wonderful professors there. So they really helped me a lot, and they inspired me to like continue my study and not to give up on it. Mm -hmm. And so they nurtured me, and because of them, I got a second rank in VIT University with nine point seven, nine point six three SGPA. So. Nice. And what was the selection criteria for your master's program? Ah, uh, master's program. It was a bit lax due to like VIT Chennai was ah uh, had the first master's program when I was I joined. So the okay. selection criteria was a bit lax compared okay. to like the Vellore campus. That is the original campus. Okay. So I got I I would say I got lucky to like got <laughs> getting selected there. Okay. And but I think sort of luck struck stroke and I. Passed out with flying colors, so mm, it all nice. went out pretty well. And what was the class this time? Uh, a class end was like fourteen. Fourteen, not not fourteen students. So it was like, it is not very big. So the in interaction between the teachers and students was like very high. So mm, yeah. it was more of an in intimate session like that. Yeah, that that helps a lot, I would say, in many ways. Yeah, that helps a lot. When did you, did you decide that you want to pursue your PhD from the US? Uh, it was like after it was during my master's itself. Like my teachers, like convinced me not to give up. So I okay. was like, yeah, if I if I didn't do master's career, so I like I will pursue my further studies. Why not? <laughs> Let's take a chance. Yeah. And so in during my project, which was on, uh, like the uh, liquid organic hydrogen molecules, where mm -hmm. like the organic molecules were used to store hydrogen and like energy stuff. Mm -hmm. So there, my guide, which is currently now the dean of chemistry, she like okay. persuaded me to like, you can pursue chemistry like PhD in like uh, not in India, you can go outside because currently resources is like lacking here. So mm -hmm. you can pursue outside like US and you can Singapore and stuff. So that's why that's why how I reached you. So okay. got to know so, you and you helped yeah, me a lot. Tell tell us about how did you find us? Uh, find me. Yeah, so I was like searching, just Google, googling like how to like study abroad and stuff. Okay. So one of my friends, so one of my friends were he told me about you, like your program, like let's do PRD. Then okay. I went to the site, then I found it like uh, I can like they are like pretty legit and because uh, like these PhD programs and all like the scams are like a lot. So I was like. <laughs> Starting, I was like scaring, scared of it, but after reading through the site and all, like yeah, it's legit and all. So I mailed you, and you okay. then contacted me pretty promptly. I was like, yeah, it's a green green signal, so mm -hmm. I'm going forward with it. You never have any doubts that well, it's all like I ne well. never had any doubt. after never. that. After that, I didn't have any doubts. Like, after the interaction, <laughs> yeah, because like you were like very prompt in responding and all, and clearing out my queries. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
within the clinic also. Very nice. So let's talk about uh, examination that you took. What examination uh, you took for this uh, US uh, PhD program applications? Uh, so yeah, as per as current norms, GRE is no longer required. Yes. So after, so it was okay. Then for the compulsory was IELTS. <laughs> that sure that was I would say relatively easy. Being from an, I studied all my uh, courses like through English medium institute. So it was yes. not a big hurdle, but still the writing part of the IELTS exam that like took few points down. Okay. So a bit hard to grab, but listening, speaking, and reading were like fine. Okay. All right. And what was your score? I was 7.5. Very nice score. Thanks. Now, how did you prepare overall. for the examination? Uh, I took, it was like a month I took to prepare. So there is like few materials available in Amazon. You can just search. There's a books okay. available. I took, I, I bought the book. I practiced them practice like the sample question papers and all then you also provided me with some materials i went yes, through that yes so yes was, um, amalgamation of that helped me like score the marks and when you took this examination it was in if i'm not wrong uh, in the month of november yeah november 7 to 10th year november 2022 right yeah this november last year yeah yeah last year so you finished your masters in in june july i finished complete yeah it was over in May. The convocation okay. was held in August. Okay, okay. That was it. All right. So GRE was waived anyway. So it was not yeah. required. And um, you, you applied to a few universities uh, to the US. And you got selected to yeah. University of Cincinnati Chemistry Program, yes, sir. which is wonderful. Yes, uh, okay. And uh, tell me what research uh, you are aspired to do at University of Cincinnati. Uh, coming from a master's project, I wish to continue like my field. So it was it is generally in the field of energetics. So I wish to like continue to study the how to make like green energy more like economically viable and is more mm -hmm. widely acceptable to all the people. Okay. Uh, and how many applications did you put? Uh, uh, I list? think so. I put around seven ish. Seven ish. Okay. Seven so far, you received yeah. University of Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati, Cincinnati uh, I received the offer letter from that. So, so tell us about your scholarship uh, from University of Cincinnati. Okay, so I don't know, I don't remember the details, but they offer like four individual scholarships. So they have full 100% like tuition coverage mm -hmm. and they gave like a, a whole insurance. Yeah, the whole insurance coverage is there. Yes. Provided I maintain the grades. Mm -hmm. yeah. and that is after true. that a stipend of 26 yeah 26000 per year okay and nice. uh, rest of the like living essentials and all they provide yes uh, many many congrats one more time it is a great package you, that, that gonna groom you as a as a, a young to i mean more mature scientist over the time <laughs> yes sir that's good and let's talk about expenses uh uh, how much expense did you have so far, uh, right from the beginning, and joining us and, and your examination, application fees, and then so far till you get this admit? Uh, I would say like for the application process alone, it is nearly around four hundred dollars. So you can convert it around like forty thousand to forty five thousand ish. Okay. Months and with the Examination, the IELTS examination itself is 15,500 INR. Mm -hmm. okay. And with the visa process, it's like $160. It's currently changing to $180 mm -hmm. after May. Mm -hmm. And also the savings fee of $350. So yeah. it should be overall expenses at the end should be around like $1,200 something. Yeah, that's close to like two lakh in probably. Like two lakh in Yeah, that's a reasonable. So right from beginning until the end, so far, the visa is still uh, yeah. due, till admit. Yes. What was our role being a mentor? How did we figure out various things to help you get to this position? Yeah, so you guys, uh, the first thing you sent me as a questionnaire to we'll fill out two okay. parts <laughs> to the, uh, fill out all the like personal details and 
your the piece what what was the projects and all so that you could like mean like write a wonderful sop did sop helped a lot sir it was wonderful and after that like you also push me with the ielts exam thing you mm -hmm. provide me with materials and all okay and now currently also after not sorry after that you help me with the university listing you yes. like schools yeah. school on a lot of universities yeah, yeah. it's very important part because searching for university yeah uh, in searching for university itself is like a big like hassle to yeah. do and you guys sort <laughs> it out for it so. very true and yeah. and, and i would also now, add, apparently uh, you're helping me with the visa process yeah. visa processing you already received i20 and now we are helping you through this, yeah, everything else these applications Good definitely process, yeah. yeah and i and i also i would i also add to this like drafting a scientific cv is also important yeah the yeah, cv thing yeah. yeah and what about how did you get your letter of recommendation uh it was first i think so it's in january 26 in the 7th ish mm -hmm. uh, they sent an informal mail like that, that i was selected for a phd program Okay. then i forwarded to you and then, yeah. then after that after like two three days they sent official from like offer letter mm -hmm. told us to sign it and all yeah. and to formally submit all the like financial documents still april <laughs> yes, yes yeah true very true okay. do you have a message like uh, 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 and, uh, in a way you gonna be like a uh, role model to number of uh, unseen students you never know it happens yeah what message you want to give especially in your part uh, of the region or some northeast of india especially yeah i would just say that like if you have bad grades now don't think that it's just the end of the road yes. just pursue like persevere and go forward like even though it will seem like it's a bit dark around here but there is a light in the end of the tunnel just push forward you'll get there and also like do not lose hope to anything if you want to do phd outside please and i'm telling you please do not like get to like panicked and all just let us i am doing right now just don't yes. get panicked be calm and let the process take care of itself and also yes. if you can please contact sir he's yes. a bit like a, a big helping light so <laughs> very true i mentorship helps in many ways yeah there's no doubt Yes, yes. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time, and I think uh, uh, whatever time left till you go to the U.S., stay with your family, enjoy your time. And anyways, yes. we gotta help you through this process to achieve your visa, and then finally, uh, whatever we could do uh, for your smooth transition to the U.S. Yes. Thank you, Arindya. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.